Hey guys, it's Amy, your golf coach. Welcome to Drop 10 Shot Series. My goal is to help you to hit more fairways and eliminate out of bounds misses, which is going to save you about two to four shots per round. That's my goal. Last time we focused on the body. Today we're gonna focus on the club itself to help you gain more control over that release to help you to hit the golf ball with a square face and hit the sweet spot more often, which is going to help you to hit more fairways and less out of bounds. Let's get 85. A lot of golfers tend to focus a lot on the hip turn for the driver, boom, and how fast they swing at it for more power. And this really leads to lack of control over what the club is doing. So the most common fault we see with golfers with the driver is to not release correctly and not have full control over what the club is doing. So you go into the golf ball with a super open club face. With an open club face, you will most likely hit a big slice. And if you try and square it up all at once at the end, it will probably make you hit a hook. So we don't want either of these really big slice or hook misses that's gonna produce more out of bounds. So I'm going to show you the best way to get full control over this club today. And we're gonna focus on the release because we're seeking for that club control so we can release it correctly, right? You know, over the years, growing up, learning to play golf, playing golf competitively, playing golf on a professional level, I found that working on that release part of the swing is one of the most difficult part because this downswing happens in like split of a second. It's such a quick part of the swing and your timing has to be just perfect. So the release is not the easiest part to work on. And getting all these lessons, giving all these lessons, come to the realization that if you focus on this one part of your swing, it fixes the release with ease. And that, if you've seen my lessons, you know exactly what that is. It's the post-impact position. Impact is right here. When the club is about three feet past the ball, this is what I call post-impact. When the toe is 45 degrees pointing to the right of the target, that's a really good position. That's what we're going for. So no matter what's going on over here, if you can get that position down, you'll have highest probability of going into the golf ball with a square club face at impact. So post impact is the position to remember and work on. I have a fantastic Amy Fi drill to get you into that perfect post impact position. Ta-da! It's a split grip soccer ball drill. So split grip, grip your lead hand at the top of the grip and then the trail hand on the bottom almost touching the shaft. That's a split grip. And then you're gonna go ahead and set up to a soccer ball. And we're going to work on the downswing part of it. And this split grip is going to help you with a proper waist shift and then help you to like really stay down in the downswing. Also help you, you can see with the lag and then the release. So all you're going to do is pump three times. So the grip end is going toward the target pump, 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 and then hit the soccer ball. <laughs> this ball is actually a little light. I don't want you to hit anything super heavy because you might break your driver. They do break easy if you pound on something super hard. So use something that's pretty light, split grip. You're going to go pump, sting low, getting that weight shift, for the driver, hang back is the key point. So you can see that I'm putting pressure into the back foot as I'm rotating. So the waist shift is hanging back, hang back, and you see the lag here. And last time when we push the soccer ball is the release. So pump, really feel the angle in your trail hand. Pump, the trail hand is doing all the work. Pump, and then we're gonna go ahead and push the soccer ball and that toe is pointing right at the target. So. You're gonna feel the turn, seeing low lag, and then that angle right there has a lot of pressure and you're gonna utilize the trail hand to point the club to the right. Let's try and do that without the ball, trail hand only. Step number two. So take it back. We're not gonna pump. We're gonna stay low, lag, and hang back, and then continue to point the toe to the right of the target. Hang back, stay down, lag, and then push the toe. Downswing, push that toe. Push the toe. So it really will feel like you're pushing the soccer ball with your trail hand. If you're comfortable with the drill, now let's go ahead and put it into your golf swing. 
So let's take it 30% speed at first. We're gonna go hang back, stay down, lag, and then push the toe. Oh, wow. That felt great. That was like super square. I just felt like I had a lot of lag into it and then I had full control over that release. Let's try and pick up some speed as you get more comfortable and end up with 100% speed gradually. Wow, did you guys hear that? That felt really solid. So today we worked on two steps to this drill to help you gain more control over the club. The first step was with the soccer ball, split grip, and this pump three times and then pushing the soccer ball so the toe is pointing right at the target helped you to actually improve four parts of your downswing which is the waist shift, the hang back for the driver and then staying down low throughout the downswing and also the lag and then the release. And then you can take that sensation and go to the second step and use trail hand only, exact same thing. You're hanging back, you are staying down, you're lagging, and then you're releasing that toe to get into the same position at post impact, pointing right at the target. That was the whole idea of doing the two-step drill there. And then once you're comfortable, apply it into your full swing. This is really going to help you gain full control over this club and release beautifully to hit it longer and straighter. Today I showed you a split grip drill to get that release under full control so you know how to control your body and your club now, which will help you to hit more fairways, less out of bounds, saving you about two to four shots per round. If you have any questions, please let me know. In the next video, we're gonna move on to the fairway and talk about whether hybrid is more suitable for you or a long iron. Look forward to that. Thank you so much for golfing with me today. See you in the next one. Mwah.